Who are you? Yeah, you, right there. I bet you know of a lot of ways to answer that question. You could tell us your name, first and last, the day you were born, your grade in school. You might even tell us the street you live on. You could give your height and your eye color. You might even tell us about your parents or your siblings. And all of those things would give us a picture of who you are on the outside. But if you follow Jesus, there's something even more important happening on the inside. In the Bible, we discover truths that Jesus spoke and promises that God inspired people like the Apostle Paul to write down. And these truths paint a powerful picture of who you truly are. God says that you are a child of God. You are a friend of Jesus. You are a brand new person in Christ. You are forgiven. You are uniquely designed for good works that only you can do. You can go to God at any time for any reason. God will provide everything you need. That, my friends, is the true story of who you are. And it's a wonderful feeling. When you live with confidence, knowing that you are already loved and chosen, others can see God at work in you. That's why confidence is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. reason why my feet can't stop my heart can't help but sing it's a wonderful feeling to feel your love for me to feel the joy you bring your love is the answer so I sing to you the reason is you Jesus you're why I'm singing out the reason is you Jesus Cross, you set me free, and I'm thankful that you love me. Whoa, oh, 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 I'm thankful that you love me. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. I know the reason why my hands are up, my feet dance down below. It's a wonderful feeling that I belong. You're the reason. I can't stop this feeling. <laughs> Jesus, you're the reason. Let's go. I never wanna shake this feeling. Jesus, you're the
everyone, I'm Brandon. Uh, this uh, is the so-and-so show. Uh, normally my co-host John would be here, uh, but today I, I guess he decided to... What is going on? Brandon, would you like some coffee? Whoa, whoa, how is that coffee mug floating? It's crazy, right? <laughs> uh, it's definitely crazy. Whoa, Brandon. I know that you're freaked out because you can't see me, but don't be. Just keep doing the show. Like I'm here, standing beside you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, because I want. Is there a point to all this? Isn't there always a point to what I do? Almost never. The point is, Brandon, you rely on me way too much to do this show. And I want you to feel like you have the confidence to do this show when I'm not around. That's why I'm wearing this green screen to make myself invisible. Okay. I think that only works when you're on a green screen. Oh, no, screen. Brandon! Whoa! Still... Whoa! The coffee mug's floating around. Better get one more sip of Java. Wow! One anymore. Anyway, today we're talking about confidence. Look at the cube floating. This magnificent geometrical shape is solving itself. Whoa. Whoa. It's already solved. Anyway, we're talking about confidence, and uh, yeah. we're trying to learn... I'm super chicken! Look at me, I'm super chicken! We're trying to learn how to see ourselves the way God sees us. See yourself, see me! Oh, how did my head just show up? How did my head just show up? Oh no, it's blocking you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's floating free. Say, I thought I was trying to learn how to do the show by myself. Say no more. Okay. Give me a second. Wish it worked. Yeah, hold on. All right. Put my zippers down my shirt. <laughs> oh, boy. Shh. Here we go. Uh, okay, go. Thank you. Uh, today on the show, we're talking about... No, nope. I'm oh, sorry. I'm uh, oh, sorry. I can't do it, man. I thought I could just stand here silently doing nothing, but you know what? I can't do that to you, pal. I yeah. just can't. Let's play a game. Okay, but what kind of game could we possibly play when I can't even see you? Oh, oh, oh right. A simple one, mayhaps? <laughs> For instance... How many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers am I holding up? Ready? Three. You're holding up three fingers. How about now? One. How about now? Four. Six. Zero. Okay! This is too easy. Let's play a different game. Let's play Marco Polo! Marco Polo! You know how to play Marco Polo. You yeah. will say Marco. I will say polo, then you'll have to locate me just by the sound of my voice. Ooh, 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 ready? Marco. Polo. You're right there. What? By the chair. I don't understand why this is. Okay, you know what? Let's play one more game. We don't need to keep doing this. I can see you. What? I'm invisible. If I if I if I'm not invisible, what's the point of me coming out here wearing the spandex suit? I don't know, silly sight gag. I don't do silly sight gags. I'm serious, man. Dodgeball. Are you sure about this? <laughs> no. Are you sure about this, John? You can't hit me. I'm invisible. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ooh. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Could have been a lot worse. How's that? <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh, that! Uh, that! Uh. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Oh! <laughs> What's up, fellas? Kellen, I'm invisible! Sorry, he might be concussed. What are we talking about today, Kellen? Oh. Today's story is about three guys who went through something terrifying, but... Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. What? Three ordinary men who had the confidence to stand up for what they believed. What is happening right now? We'll hear their story today on Behind the Bible. Babylonian king, Nebuchadnezzar, ordered the construction of a golden, 
90 foot tall statue. Oh yeah, I love that statue. I remember thinking one day, I wonder if I could get a 90 foot gold statue made. And my officials was like, uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, let me tell you, it's good to be the king. Okay, to be clear, King Nebuchadnezzar never gave any on-camera interviews. He lived hundreds of years ago before cameras were even invented. Hey. Yes? This will go a lot faster if you let me do the narrating. Okay. Thank you. Nebuchadnezzar decreed that whenever the music was played, everyone must fall down and worship his statue. Anyone who disobeyed this command would be thrown into a blazing furnace. Okay. Look. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I mean, what's a little worship between the king and his subjects? But how could I have known what was going to happen next? No one could have known what would happen next. When the music played, all the people worshipped the statue. All except for three men. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It's true. We didn't bow down to worship the statue. Look, we serve the king, but we don't worship him or his gods. We worship the one true God. King Nebuchadnezzar was displeased. Okay, listen. No king likes to be told no. So when I heard these three wouldn't worship my statue, I was angry. I remember saying to them, if you don't bow down right now, you're going in the furnace. Then what God will be able to save you from my power? Yeah, I, I was I was in, in a good place. Look, we weren't gonna worship the statue, no matter what. So we said to the king, we might be thrown into the blazing furnace, but the God that we serve is able to bring us out of it alive. But we want you to know this, your majesty. Even if we knew that our God wouldn't save us, we still wouldn't serve your gods. We wouldn't worship the gold statue that you set up. I was so mad, like so mad. I ordered that the furnace be heated seven times hotter than normal. And then I had some of my strongest soldiers to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the furnace. The fire was so hot, the soldiers who threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the furnace were burned up. But that wasn't the end of the story. It sure wasn't. King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the furnace, and instead of seeing the three tied-up men, he saw four men, and they were walking around. Who was the fourth man in the furnace? Was it a ghost? An angel sent from heaven? Maybe even Jesus himself? We don't know for sure. But what we do know is that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire unharmed. The ropes that were tied around us, they burned up. But the rest of us, our, our clothes, our, our hair, our bodies, they were perfectly fine. God was with us the whole time. Clearly, I was wrong about the whole statue thing. I mean, their God was the most high God. So, I gave Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego very high positions in the city. And get this, I decreed that anyone who said anything bad about them would be cut into tiny little pieces and their homes would be turned into piles of trash. Right? That's, that's good, right? Uh, that was a little much, but uh, we appreciate the gesture. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's faith was tested. But in the end, they had confidence that God would be with them, no matter what. This has been Behind 
the Bible. The end. Uh, excuse me. That's my line. Oh. The end. Can I? Oh, sure. It's all yours. Thanks. What'd you think, fellas? That was great. Yeah, I loved how they said that they knew God would save them. But even if he didn't, they'd still stand for what's right. Yeah. Talk about confidence. Mm -hmm. I know. But don't miss this. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego the whole time. And God is with us, too. So we don't have to face the hard stuff alone. That's amazing. Hey, thanks, Kellen. You bet. See you next time. Bye. You see, John, when you're not around, I'm still not alone. God is always with me. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, in that case... I want to give my lips and my hair color in the zipper. Okay. It's all you. Oh boy. Reveal the question. When are some times you need to trust God? When you feel all alone? Or when you have to face something scary, uh, like moving to a new city or trying out for a sports team. Talk about it amongst yourself. When are some times you need to trust God? <laughs> and we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Or will you be able to see me? Yes. Marco? Porno! John? Yeah. Oh, hey, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't find you because you're wearing the green screen suit. Okay. You okay? Yeah, tag. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, you're it. Okay. Marco. Oh, hello. Oh, you're right there. <laughs>